Hi everyone, welcome back to Faith in Flower. I'm Robin and I am so excited for today's video. Our freezer drawers are finally going to be decluttered and organized um, in a realistic way. <laughs> so let me back up by telling you that we have a French door style refrigerator and freezer here in our laundry room. And this is sort of our overflow area, but this freezer has been serving as our only freezer space because the two drawers that you see to the right of our refrigerator have been out of service for quite a while and we just got them back they had been at the repair shop for about a month and they weren't working for a good three or four months before that. They have panels on the front that match our cabinetry, so we're really happy that these could be repaired. After they were delivered and reinstalled, we just needed to wait about 24 hours before we could start using it again, and I couldn't wait. This seemed like a really simple project, but as you'll see, we ran into a few hiccups, starting with trying to get it to push all the way in and be flush with the rest of the cabinets. We got those things worked out and I'm fairly happy with the results, but you'll have to keep watching to see what I mean. The next day I was eager to get started, although a little daunted at the amount that we were keeping in this freezer, and I knew that I needed to work fast. So I laid a towel out on the floor to cushion my knees and I grabbed a laundry basket and started unloading the first tier or the top drawer of this freezer. Then I took it into our kitchen island where I was going to do a little sorting and then grabbed my other laundry basket and started unloading the rest. Once I got everything out, it was pretty clear that some cleaning needed to happen here. Ooh, busy. It turned out using the laundry baskets for this project was perfect. <laughs> you can really fill them with a lot of things and the handles make it really easy to transport it. Once everything was out, I knew I had to work fast so that things wouldn't thaw too much. And so I grabbed one of my e-cloth microfiber cloths, dampened it with some water, and I knew that would be the perfect thing to clean the bottom of the freezer drawer. But first I used my handheld vacuum to get up all of the debris and make this job a little easier. I love using e-cloths for just about any sort of cleaning job, but especially when I'm in the refrigerator and freezer because I'm just using water and I'm removing 99% of dirt and bacteria without introducing any chemicals into this area that could somehow get into our food. I always have a link to e-cloth down in the description box, so make sure you check them out if you're interested. Cleaning this back part of the freezer turned out to be really hard on the side where the wall was because I had no choice but to reach over the top. And I'm 5'9", so I probably have arms that are a little longer than the average person. But I did manage to reach from the side on the washer and dryer side at least enough to get it pretty clean. This refrigerator freezer is probably at least 15 years old. I kind of lost count, but we brought it from our previous home and it has been a great one. It's by Electrolux. I don't know if they still make this model, but it has worked so well. I noticed as I was cleaning it that there were a few sort of like rust areas. I think you could probably tell on this wire rack and it's not causing a problem. It's just that she's getting a little bit old. <laughs> she's starting to show her age a little bit here and there, but she's still functioning great. So she's a keeper. One of the features I like about this freezer is that this tray comes out and the rest is wire rack. So if something spills, this generally catches it and I can take it out and wash it thoroughly.
I decided to start with the freezer drawers in the kitchen. And the repairman told us that if we put ice cream in here, it would be a good indicator of how well it's working. So the ice cream seems to be perfect. And so that means it's ready to be loaded up. Previously, I used the bottom drawer to put all of Peyton's gluten-free items. So I'm just going to do that again. So I'm kind of sorting through these baskets, finding those items, and then I'm just gonna quickly get them in the freezer and I'm going to save the organizing for later. I decided to put all of our breads and dessert items like ice cream in the top drawer. This is kind of the setup that I had previously. So I'm going to just start with this and my goal right now is just to get everything in the freezer, get the freezer closed up. And because earlier I had taken some measurements, I wanted to take my time looking on Amazon and trying to find some containers that I think will really make this function well. With the drawers in the kitchen loaded up, I took everything else back to the laundry room. And I have one basket full of sort of meat items and the other one full of fruits and vegetables. My plan was to put all of the meat items on the left-hand side of the bottom drawer and all of the vegetables on the right-hand side. So as fast as I could, I loaded it all in. That worked out really well, so I decided to put the fruits and miscellaneous items, especially small things that tend to get lost, on the top shelf. This worked out pretty well. We have a lot more space now. I can really see what's in here, but I felt like I could take it one step further and add a few bins to really maximize the space and make it even more functional or at least that was the plan. <laughs> so after getting everything loaded up, I spent a lot of time on Amazon with my measurements trying to find the perfect bins for these spaces, but I couldn't find anything. And then I remembered the Target baskets that I had used in our kitchen. So the next day I ran to Target and I primarily went to get these sort of long narrow ones because they look like they would really fit according to the measurements that I had. And while I was there, I saw these larger ones and I wasn't sure if those were gonna work, but I brought them home anyway. And I also bought more than I thought I would need because you just never know. And I can always return the ones that I'm not going to use. At first, I was really pleased with myself because it looked like my plan was working perfectly. Three of these bins were the perfect size for this top shelf. So I was really happy, really excited to continue on. And I was also glad because these Target baskets were significantly cheaper than any of the ones I saw on Amazon. These are just $4 a piece and I'll put a link in the description box in case you're looking for some. Next, I unloaded all of the vegetables and was confident that my plan was going to work. But when I started putting the baskets in, I realized that that area is not completely square. So these bins won't sit completely on that tray that I showed you earlier. And I just wasn't really sure what to do. So I decided to give it a try. I loaded up two of them. But they didn't sit in there really well. So I had another idea. I noticed that one sort of floats on the top like this and it leaves space below and I felt like that would maximize the space so I gave this a try I took everything out again sort of loaded up the vegetables standing straight up so that I could see what's what and then put this basket on top and my idea is that I can use that for smaller items or items that are already open and so far so good so I probably won't wind up using as many bins as I first planned and I'm not really sure this is gonna work. But when I tried it on the other side, I guess that little divider is situated a little more to the right than to the left. So the basket didn't fit in there quite as snug, but I think it's still a pretty good idea and I'm gonna give it a try. So that way I can put some smaller items in there and use that kind of as a floating area and things can be underneath. I don't know if this makes any sense to you, but this solution seemed to be a pretty good one. 
My hope is that this is going to make our freezer more functional. It looks prettier, at least on the top. <laughs> the bottom, I'm not really sure, but I wanna see how this is gonna work and give it a try. So I will check in with you in a future video and let you know how it goes. Now for the freezer drawers in the kitchen. I wasn't 100% sure this was going to work in here either, but I was willing to give it a try. According to my measurements, it should work pretty well in the top drawer. So I started unloading everything and sure enough, three of these bins will fit in there. I can put something in the front or the back that doesn't really bother me, but this way I can sort of corral some things and I can open up the freezer drawer and grab out a bin, which is a little bit faster when say we want ice cream. <laughs> so that worked pretty well. I like that I'm able to sort of file certain things and set them up right in there without them shifting if the freezer inventory is low. And then in the bottom drawer, I knew it was gonna be a little more complicated. I knew that I wouldn't be able to fit more than one bin in that bottom section, but I was happy to see that one would fit in the top. And my plan is just to put in all of the sort of already opened items so that bin can be grabbed really quickly. And then all of Peyton's extra bread can be put together in that front section. In any case, I'm really happy for the extra space and especially to have a place where I can separate out Peyton's gluten-free items, which makes things much easier for him, especially when he's preparing his lunches every day. Even though everything didn't turn out Pinterest perfect, <laughs> I was really happy with the results and I am probably gonna have to tweak some things at some point in time, but I feel like this is a good starting place and we now have ample freezer space so I can start doing things like making freezer meals again. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing any videos like that, please let me know down in the comments and also let me know if you have any storage solutions that work really well for your freezer drawers. I'd love to hear. If you enjoyed today's video, don't leave without giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for spending your time with me here today. I look forward to talking with you in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful week.